Webster's Dictionary defines speedrunning as timed playing of a video game in which the aim is to complete a game or portion of a game as quickly as possible. Over the years, countless gamers across all platforms have pushed themselves to human limits to compete for the fastest speedrunning times in video games. But over time, the definition of speedrunning has changed. Three years ago, famous YouTuber and speedrun streamer Small Ant achieved the world record for sharpening pencils in real life. I've always been compelled by the dedication and perseverance of these warriors and wanted to make history myself. Small Ant speedrun got me thinking, what else can we speedrun in real life? Where do we draw the line? Can I create my own speedrun category? And if I did, who would stop me? I immediately started thinking of real life categories I could speedrun. What would save me the most time? Should I learn how to make my coffee faster? Could I be spending less time in the shower? And then I heard a familiar voice in my head. Chris, babe, I love you, but you spend a ridiculous amount of time in the bathroom. I genuinely don't believe you are keeping me. My girlfriend always says that I take too long in the bathroom, so naturally, I was gonna pick a challenge that I was familiar with. Pooping. On the surface, pooping sounds easy, but there are actually a lot of technical factors that go into achieving a great score. First, I needed to decide which category of poop I'd be speedrunning. I decided to run any percent because this would give me the best chance of achieving a world record. You see, most skilled players will end up going for the more comfortable 100% poop, but with any percent, you can get much shorter times and because of that, many more attempts. The rules of any percent are quite similar to 100% pooping, but they of course have some slight differences. For any poop category, as long as any amount of poop enters the bowl, the poop check will be considered complete. After that, the player will need to assure that their butthole is clean by wiping it or using other means. Once the poop is in the toilet and the butthole is clean, all that's left is the player needs to wait for all of the items to flush until the run could be considered complete. And with all that settled, I began my journey to be the fastest pooper in the world. I decided to start this project by getting a baseline poop time so that I could track my progress. Since I was challenging any percent, all I had to do was wait for a sign that I had to poo, and then it was running time. On the morning of January 20th at 7.35 a.m., I set my first any percent poop time with this run. First run. And 11.06. I knew my time was going to be rough, but I expected at least a sub 10 here. Suffice it to say, I was disappointed. But there were a couple of factors that I wasn't prepared for in my first series of runs. For starters, I accidentally left the toilet paper on the other side of the room. I spent about 30 seconds trying to fish it over using materials that I had on hand, but eventually I had to give in and waddle over to grab it. Another factor I hadn't considered was phone usage. As soon as I sat down to do a run, I instinctively pulled out my phone and started browsing Reddit or playing games. This accounted for most of my time loss and is definitely going to be a difficult but necessary thing that I need to implement into my runs if I want to get a competitive time. Lastly, my third issue was control. Like I said earlier, the biggest perk about running any percent is that you could get multiple runs by terminating that poop at any point. But this is a lot easier said than done and I found myself accidentally competing in the 100% category multiple times throughout my early runs, and I would need to perfect my methods if I was gonna set any records. After doing some digging, I learned of a clench tech that's said to improve the success of the any percent attempts by up to 80%. I sat down, grabbed my switch, and started training. All right, this is day 43 of running, and uh, we're making progress. Before long, I was getting consistent any percent attempts, and I began leaving my phone outside the bathroom before doing any of my runs. My average times began to dip more and more, and eventually, I got this run. All right. All right, getting better. I was elated to have cut down my starting time by over seven whole minutes, but even then, my times were coming nowhere close to even the top 100. I began to doubt if my goals were even possible. I mean, everybody poops. It's right there in the scripture. How could I compete with everybody in the world, knowing that whenever I'm not training, there's someone else out there, working hard, training, dedicating their lives to becoming the king of the porcelain throne, the cream of the crap, public enemy number two. How can I compete? Over the next month, I spent hundreds of hours on the toilet, grinding. I would eat, 
sleep, and breathe poop. Whenever I would sit down, I was able to get four or five attempts consistently. My progress was slowing down, but my speeds were still improving. Slowly, I lowered my time from 3.15 to 3.06 to 3.02 until finally, I got this run. Yes! Yes! PB! PB! Sub three minutes. I was finally in the top 1000. But with my times improving at this rate, it seemed like sub one minute was unreachable. I had no idea how these people were getting these times, but I knew I had to do something, and fast. You see, it was around this time that another person started running poop any percent. At first, they were seen as any other competitor, but quickly they started posting better and better times until they made history. That person would go by Chobi Chumpus, and this is his god run. Let's go town, baby. The poop speedrunning community lost their minds. Not only did a relatively new competitor just set a world record, but they shattered it, destroying the last any percent poop world record by over 15 seconds. On stream the next day, Chobi announced this. Yeah, I mean, I just think we're getting really close to perfecting the category and the diminishing time returns on the higher levels are just too much of a grind. And the run that I had was a one in a million chance and that's not even factoring in the time save that I got from the rumblies. Chobi had set such a strong world record that he would be stepping away from the scene indefinitely. And with such a strong record, who could blame him? It seemed like the stars aligned for this run. Quick side note, rumblies is a term used in the poop running community for when a runner has a tummy ache. While it may seem counterintuitive, this method is widely implemented as a time save at higher levels of any percent. In other words, having the runs makes for better runs. Not only that, but while I implement the wipe method, Chobi uses a bidet. Advanced bidet users can usually shave off an extra five seconds off their times, but Chobi also had a light lunch and mentioned that his tummy had been hurting all day. This combination of factors made it seem like Chobi's time was unbeatable, and I decided to step away for a bit and focus my energy elsewhere. At least, that's what I would have said if I was a normal pooper. finally here. Been waiting on this thing forever. That's right. I knew if I was going to compete with Chobi that we would need to be competing on the same level. And if I was going to beat Chobi, I would need to raise the bar. The poop bar. Because there's something I haven't revealed to you yet. Something that I've been working on for the past couple of months. Something that if done right, could blow the competition out of the toilet water. This is butt boosting. Butt boosting is a tech that I discovered at work while using a pipette. The idea is that the bidet works in tandem with the runner, making both phase one and phase two occur simultaneously. It works by pre-firing the bidet at the start of the run, minimizing transition time between phases, and eliminating one transition altogether. I needed an edge, and if anything was going to edge me the way that I needed, it would be butt boosting. My times were dropping drastically. I pushed the two minute barrier, and then the one minute barrier, and then the 45 second barrier. As I was trying to think of other ways to save time, I also realized I can implement the flush during phase two, completely eliminating any time loss during the last transition. And with this last technique at the ready, I finally got this run. seconds. I was the fastest pooper in the entire world. All of the hard work had finally paid off and I had a world record to show for it. The poop running community went absolutely insane after this. I was getting flooded with DMs from all of the biggest poopers in the world and history had been made and it was written in my name.
By the release of this video, my world record has been beaten twice. Butt boosting has become a commonplace tech, and more advances in technique as well as technology are being implemented to push the human limit once more. But for me, I'm done. When history looks back on pooping, my name will shine brighter than any other, and my poop will shine right back. Anyway, I just wanted to thank everybody for all of your support and helping me get to this point. This has been such an amazing journey, and I really appreciate all of your support. First and foremost, the, the poop running community. I mean, there would be no video without you guys. You're always pushing each other to get better and improve, and I'm just so glad to be a part of your community. Chobi Chumpus, I mean, great competitor, great guy. Uh, he was so open with like sharing his techniques and stuff with me. It's been really great. Uh, Famine Kid for the edit. Thank you so much. This was a this was this was a banger. Uh, and of course, Caroline for all of your support and you know always pushing me to poop faster. I really appreciate it. And and the two puppets community, of course. Uh, I love you guys. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, uh, make sure to like it or comment. And you know who knows, maybe in the in the future we'll set another world record. <laughs>